and I shall probably pop in and pop off, but um, I'd like to just say a nice warm welcome to everybody that's joining uh, us live or recorded tonight. We've got a new one, Samantha, on the top here. Uh, welcome, welcome. Um, she, she's on live. Um, <laughs> this is Steam Live. You are on... Uh, oh, I'm, I've come off as on live, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> good, isn't it? Uh, we did have a notification earlier to say um, an event you're interested in is becoming very popular. And Angela looked at it and it was copy chat, live chat. How is oh, that? Oh, nice. so, so hopefully That's we it. are doing something a bit right, guys, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but um, no, thanks for joining us and uh, everybody that's participating, obviously. I'm going to yeah. head um, on now, so hopefully this stays on live. Yeah. Um, it did last time. I can't see any reason it won't. Um, and I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear you. Right. And, um, oh. It's a shame I'm not in the side tonight, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You'd lose a bit more hair then, wouldn't you? Just blow me hair around, couldn't I? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, right. Luke, have you got your tooth yet? What's he doing? Luke, Luke, have you had your tooth done yet? He said. Oh. I've, have you had I've, your got, I've got the metal bit screwed in at the moment. Oh, <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> Dear, <I> did, oh. <laughs> All that to look good, eh, Luke? Yeah. You look like Jack He's having a tattoo to have me next week. <laughs> 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 I'll tell you what, you can see uh, that saving up to be Jewish thing to work in the club. <laughs> <Look at it. laughs> got your skull cap on, didn't he? <laughs> got your Jewish skull cap on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, welcome, Samantha, to the lunatic group. <laughs> As you can see, we're not um, at all serious. We like fun and jokes and... Well, don't, can you tell us a bit about yourself and your group? Um, do I have to? Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody's going to judge you. Nobody. It's just introduce yourself because obviously Luke's done it. I've done it. You do it on Facebook. Give a profile of yourself ah, and what you've okay. done. Have you seen it on Facebook? We put uh, it on there. I haven't. <laughs> it's on Host for Ghost and Luke's on the uh, South Coast Ghost with Darren. It's just a little bit of a write up about yourself and the paranormal or how you got into that or what you've done so give us a little bit of brief where you've been anywhere interesting to be honest with you i haven't really done anything at the moment i'm just curious about the whole and i'm just gonna learn okay <laughs> what sort of made you curious about it then have you had the experience with the paranormal or well it's more of like the spiritual side of things more than anything. okay but i do feel some type of energy right um, but I want to explore that a bit more. Right. And do you live in a haunted location or? Mm, it's a new build, so probably not. But I don't know what was here before. But the thing <laughs> so, is, it's not always the building. It's the ground that it's on as well, remember? That is true. It, yeah. You know, it can have a massive effect. Although it's a new house, new build, whatever. But it depends what it's built on, isn't it, Luke? Uh, you know, what you're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's layers and layers. If you think many years ago, the ground would have been a lot lower than it is now. And, you know, this is a lot of reason people say, you know, when they see a spirit or whatever, uh, they saw half a body. It's because that ground level is, is we're up for so high now of our ground level that we only actually see the half of them. But, okay. you know, from their mm. point of view, they see the whole of them. So a lot of it's to do with what's in the ground. You know, people say, oh, you know, my house is haunted and this, that and the other. But it could have been what it's built on. That's interesting. So <laughs> many years in, yeah. in many years ago they used to now they by law they have to move the remove the bodies if they're building on sacred ground mm -hmm. and rebury them. But you know, three or four hundred years ago they wouldn't have done, they would have just knocked the gravestones over and built straight on the top. Wow. So so you can imagine the ground layer. And also, you know, do you know much about ley lines? I don't. It's pretty, this no. is all pretty much new, but I'm really interested in it. So, okay, Luke, do you know much about ley lines? I think we, we talked about it once, but I forgot. I might remember. Oh. 
I forgot a little bit. He must be as old as Darren. He forgets things like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, ley lines are what they say spirit travel along. They use them. And if you have, you know, generally known to equalize it out, you have positive ley lines. And also, you have to have the opposite, negative ley lines. So, wherever there's a positive, there's always going to be a negative. And it, if you get a crossover in ley lines, you know, a lot of times spirits use them to move along. You know, the same as water. If you live near water, it tends to be more <clears throat> more active, for want of a word. We can say use the water to move along. It's energy. Anything that's got energy, they can use. And hence why on a paranormal night, you know, if you've got good energy in the room and, you know, a lot of times that we go on these paranormal nights, we have good energy. And we do get lots of EVPs, lots of visual stuff, don't we, Luke? You, you know, do. cat balls going, you know, and people say, you know, how have you got that EVP or how did you catch that on the camera? And I think a lot of it is because there's a group we go, we go to Waverley and all of that, and we try different things each time we're out. You know, some some things work, some things don't work, but this is how it's all an experiment, isn't it, really? Mm -hmm. You know, you go along through the whole of the paranormal, uh, for want of a word, the whole paranormal life, if you like. And it's all about experiments, isn't it? Trying, not trying. You know, you've got to try different things. They don't always work. You know, you might be there all night and get nothing. But then again, you might do something. And, you know, like we've had at Waverley, really, you know, you go there and you can have one night with nothing or what, and another night. You know, it is... Very active, can't it, Luke? Yeah, it can be, yeah. yeah. Talk about some of your experiences there, Luke. Tell Samantha. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, Table. Right. <laughs> well, think back. What did we do? Uh, we've tipping. done table tipping. Oh, the table tipping. We've done it. I went once with Darren and Nigel. We've done it near the tree. And we had, like, a tap on the table. That's right. It's on camera, on the YouTube as well. I've never heard that before. So it was an actual tap on the table? Yeah, like a little click underneath it, yeah. Was it? And you all, you all felt it at the same time, or...? Yeah, we, all, we heard it all, yeah. We couldn't believe it. It's like, it. it's like we were saying about Waverley Abbey having very many levels, yeah. isn't it? You know, by putting the table in the middle of the field and doing the table tip in there, you know, that's something we never thought of doing, wasn't it? No, you know we said, "Oh, I'll try it here. Let's have a go here in the in the open." And yeah, it was a good contact we had that night, wasn't it? it was, yeah. You know, it's it's good. The table was moving well, and you know things were coming oh, through, yeah. weren't they? But we'd yeah. never tried that before, have we? Don't you remember no, your crash helmet? Lady in the car crash. What about the crash helmet on the floor, Luke? Yeah, I saw that move. I wondered why it was moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we had the, had my crash helmet laid by the side of the table, just put it on the floor while we were doing the table tipping and things like that, and trying just trying different things, weren't we, really, all of us? Yeah. And I saw Luke look over his shoulder and look, and I said, oh, what are you looking at? He said, look at your crash helmet, and you could actually see the crash helmet moving. Oh, wow. And we wonder whether they recognised it as um, maybe um, like a nice, knight's helmet. Nice, it? Yeah. You know, like jousting, and because wasn't that the night we thought we saw that that soldier yeah. on that horse roll past? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, yeah. That was the same night, wasn't it? it was yeah. We were that. That was a good night, that one. That was a brilliant night, wasn't that, it? That, that one. Was clear yeah. night, wasn't it? And that was clear night as well, wasn't it? Because yeah. we was looking at yeah, the stars yeah. as well. Yeah. Because we were looking at lots of things moving in the sky. Because it's not, you know, paranormal covers supernatural ufos all sorts you know it's a very massive spectrum of thing to learn paranormal and you know people say you know there's no experts in the paranormal world because how can you how can you be because it's every day's a school day you know every time we go out we learn something different you know and it's like going to Knoll village and that with darren that not that day me and jen went you know that was a very very active very weird place wasn't it and the yeah, feeling there is very strange. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you just got... Each day is different, isn't it? I think yeah. when the summer's here, the you know, the movement or the energy and all of that's a lot higher 
you know, because of the heat and things like that. It's like you get a lot of paranormal activity in a storm because it's the energy is so charged up by the storm, the lightning and that, that it can be, you know, very good if you're out and about. A storm normally brings a lot of energy through because of the lightning and the, how the atmosphere is charged up by the, the storm. So that's always worth remembering, you know, yeah. it, in the weather, the hotter it is, the better because obviously the daylight's a lot longer. So you get a lot more chance to see your environment and where you are. And, you know, and, and it's like a Waverley as it goes dark. And it really does go dark there, doesn't it? Because there's no street lights or any false lighting. There's no light pollution in the sky. It just literally is as dark as dark. Yeah, but yeah. the last few times we've been there, we've had some real, real good, active things yeah. go on, really, haven't we, Lou? Yeah, yeah. We had, that negative, know, the... we had like a negative energy, didn't we, at one point? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, strange feeling, yeah. And that when we thought that that uh, I think Darren's daughter was sensing the old woman coming across the field, yeah. walking towards was, us like a witch, yeah, didn't she? It was, yeah. Remember, she just kept seeing it walking towards us, yeah. or walking around us, sort of thing. And yet, we all sensed it, didn't we? Because it suddenly yeah. went yeah. quiet, didn't it? It just yeah. very still, very nothing, no birds, nothing. So we knew there was something coming or something yeah. in the area, didn't we? Yeah. Really, you know, um, what else did you watch us when we talked about time travel, Samantha? Mm. Did I? I'm trying to remember, now. I don't know. We, we were talking about time travel and a friend of mine, how he time traveled. Oh, was this before the tunnels? Uh, might have been, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah the well, tunnels was last week, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 just before the tunnels, you know, we was all talking about time travel and all that type of thing. And, you know, the amount of people that came on and said how interesting that was, because I never really thought about time travel, you know, how we, the Americans experimented with it. And, you know, I knew someone myself, a very good friend of mine that, quite, you know, said he, he time traveled and what he saw just didn't make sense. So, you know, we do. Yeah, the thing we're trying to get another friend of Darren's on that talk about haunted dolls. But I'm really interested in haunted dolls. I think would be. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be interesting, really, yeah, yeah. having haunted dolls. Yeah. But we need to try and coax him on here one night. Well, who's going and also, on and also we have on here one, another one of Darren's friends, Graham. Very, very knowledgeable yeah, I'm man. I'm going to get down to New Forest and see Scott because he's only about 45 minutes away from me. Um, Is he? Yeah, that'd be yeah, interesting. 45, love... 45 minutes, mate. Um, so he's he's now living in a location which is actually great for paranormal investigating. Oh, okay. Because um, he's got so much around him that he can go and explore. Do you know what I mean? Lovely. He's got so much around him. So um, he's done quite nice. a few locations as well. Be nice to take and a trip down there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's well worth a trip down before the end of the summer. Um, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I will be, I'll be back on like the fifteenth of night, mm -hmm. and then I might be going away again on the seventeenth. But then on the t the next month, when we've got Hellfire Caves. Yeah, I'll be coming up in either the motorhome or the camper van, and then we'll be going on to. Um, I'm going to stay round Bowie St Edmunds that night. Oh yeah, nice. Sir. Be there till really? two in the morning. I'll yeah, Bowie St Edmunds that night. Probably do Bawley Church the following morning, yeah. and then um, up to Rendlesham because we've got a campsite there. But well, nice eight for four nights. Yeah. And then we'd have a wander into Rendlesham and then up for a mass piss up and a music festival. Oh, yeah. Um, which would be good. Yeah, uh, Rendlesham well, Forest is interesting. You'll, you'll find the forest interesting. Yeah. Because obviously yeah, that, that was the sighting of the UFO, wasn't it? Strange, because there was um, a programme, a documentary on a, about it the other day again. Was and, um, you know, considering we're going there next month. It's a bit close. So I've, I've yeah. recorded it. It's a whole here, but it's the actual yeah. first hand account by the um, Royal Air Force and the American right. Air Force. 
Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's amazing how they changed. They got them to change the stories, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, it's like, why, why would you sit them down and make them sign secret documents? You're not going to tell anyone about this. If it was offered Nest Lighthouse, yeah? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Now, a thing that they're not saying to you is, if it was offered Nest, an offered Nest Lighthouse, yeah, why yeah. was it only visible those two occasions? Why yeah. wasn't it every night of the year? Why wasn't it a local legend of like, oh, look, here, yeah, kids, come with them or something, yeah? And like, yeah. all the mums and dads knew it was Orford Nest Lighthouse because it wasn't Orford Nest, Nest no. Lighthouse. So Orford yeah? Nest, Nest Island was a communications island. Because right. that's, that's where my sister lives. Just She lives in Felix Day, so Orford Nest is just across the, the inlet of the river. And my brother-in-law was a fire fireman there, an orphaness. Oh, right. it, was a, it was a communications bunker. That's what's there. Mm. An underground communications bunker. Oh, wow. That, that's really interesting. Because, like, we were talking last week about the tunnels again and whatever. I'm just yeah. going to take the jacket off Bloody roaches in this car. Um, <laughs> got the air conditioning running when it's running, but like I'm sat at Tesco's at the minute because we've yeah. run out of roof and stuff. So, well, if you'd have took the side, you could have had the roof down. I know, mate. I know. Yeah. <laughs> How the other half live, eh? Even near Range Rovers. <laughs> <laughs> the other half. <laughs> so, what else are you interested in, in Samantha? Oh, the moon. <laughs> the moon, the moon phases. Yeah. yeah. No, like I just find, I don't know, I just find it very fascinating. <laughs> so have you done? You know that, don't you? Sorry, say that again. It's not made of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, anyway. You don't know. You've never been there, have you? So you don't know. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> <laughs> so are you interested in the spiritual side of the paranormal then or all of it or the whole I just sort feel of like there's so many different things to learn. Like I feel like I'm at the I'm like nowhere near like the first base if that makes sense of learning because I want to just like explore. Yeah. But then sense. like I said to you, even to us every day is a school day, we learn something different yeah. every time we go out. As a paranormal group with Jenny and Darren and Angela and Luke and all of them, you know, Neil. But every time, Dora, you know, every time we go out, we learn something different. You know, we never go out. We go out, It's you know, we go out and we want the surroundings to show us that it's haunted. We don't need to prove it's haunted. We need, it's like if you go into a haunted house, and Darren will tell you, People say, oh, my house is haunted, but you want that house to prove to you that it's haunted. I don't need to prove to the house, you know, and that's Correct. the difference. You know, that's Correct. the difference. People say, oh, yeah, yeah, you've got a massively haunted house. But unless we go in and we connect and you get spirit through and, you know, and have all these connections, you know, and I always say to myself, OK, I'm here. You wanted me here. Now prove to me why you're haunted. And I, I yeah, wait what, for spirit to tell want? me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because you're taken to that location for a reason. Right. You know, you don't just turn out anybody's house, knock on the door and say your house is haunted. You know, people call you in or spirit take you to that house because they're either having a problem with it or there's something there that they're not sure or they don't like. You know, you watch all these, a lot of these American programs, you know, like Ghost Adventures and things like that. And, you know, all the, you know, they go summoning the devil and the, negativity and you know and then they wonder why it all kicks off because you're playing with something really that you just don't know about mm. you know you know and they say oh show me your power show me how strong you are blah 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 but you're really dealing with something that you can't see you can't feel so you don't know what the retaliation could could be mm. and that's the difference studious, between right? us that's the difference studious, between us because like we don't look for that we look you know, we go for good spirit. You know, if things did get tough, you know, we know people that could do that and help. But 
as a as a group. And I think that's why a lot of the times we get what we get because we go as a good group. You know, we're not trying to summon up the devil. We've got great we? energy. We've got great yeah. energy. There's no doubt about it. You know, yeah. we're, we're liked, we're respected, and we go in, we're very jovial. We we are serious. We are dedicated. We're professional. But we also go in with some great energy because the laughter and the so forth. I yeah. mean, that, that's why I always try and, if it goes a bit flat, I always start joking around and, and so yeah. forth and it just raises the energy level up and you've got to remember if you was a, a, a spirit or, or whatever you want to call it um, a dead person a dead human being you know you, you're not going to be attracted to the well some I, I mean I don't know why but you, you know nine times out of ten you're going to be attracted to the, the good nice positive happy energy in that room, you know that's that's yeah. how it works. You know it's rule of thumb. It's just law of physics. It's, yeah. Look, that's why we go to see a comedian. There's only one person in that room that's making everybody laugh. Yeah. That's why when you go to see the stage hypnotist, the stage hypnotist is the one that's that's making people laugh. That's controlling the audience. That's giving them a good time. It, so it only stands to reason that. If you're a spirit, if you're a dead human being and you're wandering around in this abyss and all of a sudden some bright, miserable, boring bastards turn up and they go, um, I I'm going to swear on here because I'm not allowed to swear on the mic at Haven. Um, and um, <laughs> it's true, honestly. They, everybody they got out for karaoke last night, they went, he promised not to swear. I'm like, for <laughs> Jesus sake. Oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. then they've got kids requesting, like, the late-night disco, yeah? As you do, yeah? yeah? Well, when I went up, yeah, they said I was a bit old. I said, nah, sort of. <laughs> um, <laughs> not allowed to swear, yeah? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> they went, oh, she kind of shouts out, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do this one because there's a swear word in it, and I can't do the pink one because there's a swear word in it. And I can't do scream and shout because there's a swear word in that one as well. And um, I'm like, what's this world coming to? It, it's yeah. like, that, to me, is boring, right? That is, to me, I just shut off, yeah? I, I've, I've got my pint in my hand. I'm like, well, I'm going back to my tent, whatever, yeah? Um, I, I've, I've only got another sort of 14 nights of this to put up with. If you if you were a spirit, you'd probably be exactly the same, wouldn't you? You'd probably yeah, yeah. no fun. Well, yeah. Thing, the, the thing is, is you know, when you're talking to somebody who's negative, you know, you think, oh, I don't like them. There's something about them, you know. And if you were like that, when spirit came along, they'd think, well, why would I want to talk to you? Because you're not well, very nice. Hell, I want to talk to you. You're yeah. bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, exactly, really? isn't it? You know, yeah. You know, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah. When somebody comes along and they hear the roaring of laughter, they feel everybody's vibration being raised, um, you know, by that laughter, as we do at Waverly Abbey, all of a sudden it kicks off, doesn't it? Yeah. It proper kicks off. And we get loads of results. And yeah. it's brilliant. Um, and I think that's really why. I really do think that's why. Yeah. And... You know, a lesson in life for you, yeah, um, in future, when you, I mean, everybody on here watching, um, everybody participating, always, if, if you believe in energy, right, and good and bad energy, always decide with your heart, right? Always. Yeah. Your mind is a very <laughs> low frequency, yeah? It should. It's a negative, um, <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. I mean, obviously, Luke's never going to have this problem. I think he with his mind, but um, <laughs> look, look, you look, 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 you look like you're broadcasting from a library. <laughs> Live broadcast from the library. <laughs> I bet you're in the garage. 
It looks like a library, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Like, all right. full of books. I don't know. Are you live from the library or you're in the shed? In uh, my bedroom. <laughs> You've got a bedroom, bedroom in your shed. Before you go downstairs now. My uncle's here. Have you only Do just woken up, Luke? No, I've been out, out all day. <laughs> all day? You've been out hours. No, What's that, more than, eight, more than eight hours then? <laughs> yeah, since, since about afternoon, I think. No way. You've been up in the afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> wow, did you shit the bed? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, Samantha, do you have someone you go with on your walkabout? Do you have a friend that, that's a bit yeah. like you that wants to learn about the paranormal? Or um, do you have friends that are interested in that type of spiritual stuff? Or I have a friend who is a pagan. Um, okay. I'm not sure if she's actually into like the spiritual side of things, like that that paranormal spirit. But I I, I feel like I want to learn. Like I said, I want to learn about it more. So yeah, I don't have anyone else apart from obviously Luke? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. That's why. I'm yeah, here. but now you know where we are. See. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you're not you're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Literally. So, <laughs> so you do where do you live in london or no um what? at the moment i'm in Aylesbury. oh Aylesbury, yeah yeah, yeah. in buckinghamshire oh. isn't it yeah that's it nice. <laughs> so is there no is there no haunted oh, locations the around there then it probably is but i haven't really researched it like it's not something i would you... want to do on my own like i feel like I'm right i'm with me <laughs> i don't know why yeah yeah do you know what I mean? well like... you need to sort of come with us when we do waverley and yeah. You know, the bits like that, just get the feel for it and see what you think. Waverley, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll probably do Waverley soon once Darren's back. And... Put the taxi down there. Oh, once Darren's yeah. back. <laughs> so once he's back and around and there's and the weather's good, come we meet, come down to Waverley and we'll, you know, is look that, and show you around Andy? there and all the different, eh? Andy, what are you doing? Oh, well, Sorry, I'm you're on holiday. <laughs> Where are you, Andy, if you're on holiday? Well, if you're on holiday, Bob, Bob Mid-Jail. Yeah. <laughs> He's on holiday, um, Bob Mid-Jail. <laughs> Whereabouts are you staying, Andy? Because um, that's strange, because I'm just down the road in Perrinport for the minute. And that's strange, <laughs> isn't it? We mentioned Bob Mid-Jail earlier, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how strange is that? Yeah. Maybe he's staying at Bob and Joe in one of the en suites. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, posh. Yeah. <laughs> posh jail. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got two. Two relatives that are on there. Really? Yeah. So Darren's obviously That's having a conversation with a policeman yeah. or someone else, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> That's, inter That's interesting. Um, that? There's a car pulled up beside me. Yeah, and it's not the police for a is, it, is it Nick? Is it Nick? I was going to say, we right. said, is it a police car? Is it a police car? Uh, this guy here, yeah? Yeah. He's got two relatives that were hung at Bodmin Jail. Wow. Interesting. So, uh, last name is Lightfoot. Lightfoot. So, oh. uh, 1800s, apparently. Yeah, just shows you, doesn't it? So, yeah. so you were just a teenager then, were you? <laughs> he's going to beat you up now he's going to beat you up now. <laughs> I'd shut your window Darren quickly if I was you <laughs> oh, he can't take you anywhere can we this guy here that a Oh, yeah. hope, Darren, talk about it. Yes, yes, yes. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh. Fancy. Hello, uh -oh. Hello. 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 She is. Luke, Luke is your mum standing on the wall? Is she sideways? Hang hang I've got a story for you coming in here. Yeah. Is you, is you... Hello, what's it? It's gone chaos. Yeah. This has gone chaos. Oh, this is. Yeah. Is it great, Chica? Digging graves in Beachtown, and it was coming in. 
And the next yep. shot then to is pick up this fish from the ferry. And I put my head above the and I thought, this is coming in. Now, I'm not usually scared and I don't believe in that sort of shit, but um, shit. <laughs> I've just seen so much weird. And really? And I was freezing with a cold and bloody sore. I, I was sweating and it just went went past and it's just like it's really cold. I didn't tell my mate for days afterwards. One night I had a few memories and I was telling, telling, telling him about it and he went, yeah, he said I saw the same thing about two, two years ago. What? What are you telling me? I never shot, I've never moved so fast in my life. <laughs> and what was it you saw? Apparently when I went into the pub after digging, finishing the grave, they said it's some woman. You know, how, how far back have you said enough? How long ago was that, really? 40 years. Still and that's Leeds Town. Leeds Town, yeah. And it's the old <laughs> grave. Two graves there, one above the other. What, on top of each other? Uh, no. Um, on the Prince Andrew Road. Um, it's the first village you come to on the Prince Andrew Road. Right. I could even help on the way down side, and you're coming into a 30, graveyard, turn sharp right, graveyard's right there. Scared of shit. I'm smoking a pipe, I tell you what. How was the lady dressed? What Was she in a dress, or what, what, was, she, what was she dressed in? It's like a wedding dress. Like a wedding dress? Yeah. Like a wedding dress. Oh, interesting. So probably somewhere there, there would have been an accident. She met her death there somewhere. That's Could what I get. If you look back in history, I bet you'll find that she was killed on her way to a wedding or she was killed shortly after or a bit before the wedding. Really? So she's well known. The impression he didn't want to know, he just shut up. And he knew us, isn't it, right? He's known us for years, but he didn't want to talk about it. So. And before so the, five points, the car drove on. He quit then. Yeah. I've come back, so, I've come back to the car. He raided her on my car. It's the only thing he's got for me on. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I leave that car in the morning? <laughs> yeah. No. So, so is that is that all is that sightings at the same sort of time each year? Is it do you know if it's the same sort of times when people see it? But when I saw it, it was August. When my mate saw it, November. And I you know, I said I just felt really cold and thought, I don't want to be here. And the first thing I thought was I watched the vampire movie the night before. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, well, I'm going to tell you, well, actually, don't suck it, worry, I'm all. So, heading out of Helston on the Penzance Road, the first village you come to. Yeah, um, if that's on the Pe Penzance Road, wouldn't that be for Smugglers Road? That place you want to go down is the. Uh, where? And the pub down at Kawala, Hell's Effort. Hell's Effort? Yeah, apparently that's one thing. Yeah? And it's got in the up? pub itself, there's an entrance that'll take you right yeah, down to the sea. Yeah, where you drop? Wow. A lot of shenanigans. Yeah. How, how cool is that, eh? That sounds like a plan, did not it, that one? <laughs> uh, there's still is in Portsmouth, don't worry about it. Ha <laughs> 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 I see a naked girl named Campbell and it took me off sex for about six months. Uh, Aaron, why are you just flying? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. She flew up. Yeah. Oh, now the dog's flown up. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, happy not to get on with it. Well, hey, hey. <laughs> um, and we'll have to try and clear the dog up now. Right. right. You have got a dog in the bag. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Oh, you see that? It's a dog. This <laughs> one, this is good, mate. I'm hush. I don't know. So, Samantha, have you done anything with your friend that does the pagan stuff? Have Have you seen her do anything? Or I'm still 
on the early stages of it all. So I've only recently come out as a pagan. So it's right. a very slow learning process for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I do, I do like um, like tarot readings and things with crystals. So. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Do you, you, yeah. do you find that interesting, the tarot? Do you do mediumship as well or just tarot? Just tarot. Right. At the moment. Do you do do you do fairs or you just do it for friends or I'll do it what for do myself. you do for myself? <laughs> for yourself, yes. okay. <laughs> Have you not done it for a friend or? Uh, no, I haven't yet. No, still no, like, no. I'm still learning like the basics. So it's very, sure. very. I want to do it properly. Yeah. Um. But he said you want to be. Jenny will be the one. Jenny will be the one to talk to. She does tarot and mediumship as well. <laughs> She, she can give you some hints because she does a Facebook live on a Friday. Okay, that's, that's me. That's Jenny, oh, my hi. partner. Oh yeah. But she does a Facebook yeah. live on a Friday with uh, Tarot. Nice. Yeah, I must admit, <laughs> I want when you said you were interested in the moon, I did wonder if you were interested in Tarot. Yeah. Because <laughs> Jen obviously does Tarot and the mediumship and the psychic. Yeah. Okay. So if you. Look on Facebook, you know, she does it on a Friday and she'll always give you hints and tips if you need them. You yeah, know, she... I like that. Well, <laughs> I might actually start running my um, circle again. So, because I've, I've got a few people interested uh, online. Yeah. Wait, 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 online. Where, can I, where can I find you on? Um... Jenny Easton. Okay. All right. I'll have a look. Just put in there Jenny Easton and add as a friend. Mm -hmm. okay. And then when. When Jenny goes so live on Friday, she gives a reading. Okay, I'll have yeah. a look. on my friend list on my profile. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. All right. So awesome. it'll ping up to say Jenny's now live. Yeah. Okay. And drop, yeah. and drop on there. You know, she'll okay. always help you out. Same as all of us will, you know. Yeah, well, yeah. We'll all, we all sort of connect with spirit in one way or another, don't we, Luke? Yeah, we do, yeah. But it's, in it's interesting, you know. We obviously, because people are on holiday at the moment. Mm. So we're sort of a bit scarce. So I'll go and sit down. Yeah. <laughs> so we're all sort of scarce doing our own bits. Yesterday we went to a place in Kent. What was it called? Raven. Uh, Bay, Bayham. Bayham. Um, Abbey. Uh, Abbey. Bayham Abbey. And literally when we went in there, it looked just like Waverley, Luke. Exactly yeah. like Waverley when yeah. we saw it. Yeah. You know, and so their, their abbeys they built in them days must have been very similar yeah. to where yeah. they were. There's a really old house there that they were okay. doing. It's a National Trust one. English National Trust or English? No, English. English, English heritage. Yeah. Right. So it all looked really, really stained. And it looked just like Waverley. I said, Jen, how much does this look like Waverley? Not the same energy, though. I'll try and post up some pictures. I took some pictures and videos of the ruins. But it looks very similar. So they would have built them in them days you know, very much the same. They must have had all had the same sort of ideas or the same builders or however they built it must have all roughly been the same. But, you know, and we know like ourselves, every time we go to Waverley, you know, and I, I do think there, you know, there is lots and lots of layers in that place that we've only just scratched the surface. What do you think, Luke? Yeah, definitely different layers there. Oh, <laughs> But we do we do pick up on, you know, right back to where the monastery it was a monastery right the way through to when I saw what I thought was bunting, <laughs> like it was celebrating the war, oh, yeah. wasn't it? You remember I kept saying, why am I seeing all this bunting around the ruins? Because it, it was used as a hospital, wasn't it, in the war? You'd be okay now to speak now. Sorry, phone buddy, phone went. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but I was just saying... You know, Waverley was used during the war as a field hospital, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was. And yeah. do you remember when we kept saying, and I kept saying to you, I could see bunting, like celebrations yeah, going on yeah, in here. Yeah. You know? And even when we went round the back where they had the World War Two concrete, that was a different energy again round the back of there, isn't it? Yeah, yes, yeah. By, by that river. Yeah, the know? water, yeah. yeah. It's a different type of energy behind there. Yeah. yeah. Behind there, but I'm not quite sure what that is about. But. I don't know. Well, well, you know, we've we've done a few now, really. We've got one our, yeah. our one coming up soon in September. So, Manfred, if you want to go on that one, 
Where, the bar on the theatre. <laughs> we'll do it with Luke has sent you the link. You got the link for it, Luke? Yeah, I've got it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or if you've got, you got the link, Luke, or if you yeah, friend yeah. you send some of the link and she friends Jenny and then Jen can send it over. Okay, yeah, do but, that. Oh, no, no. but we're doing one in, we're doing um a place called the Barn Theatre in Oxted okay. on the second okay. September. Oh, no. What? I've just put it on the poofy thing. All right. But it's um it's got hi Alex, it's Jenny here. Oh uh, she put it on the poopy chat, but it's she put the whole lot there. <laughs> instead of editing it. <laughs> but it's on there, so if you're interested, contact us and come along. That'll be an interesting one, I think. Cool. A lot of history in that that theatre as well. But obviously Julia's got her ones, isn't she, Luke? How far caves coming up? Um what else you got DJ coming up? Oh the DJ, DJ tunnels, tunnels, yeah. Twenty second yeah. July, yeah. Oh that's right, that's the next one yeah. coming, isn't it, for yeah, Julia? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll be on that yeah. one, yeah. You're going on that one, are you? Yeah, I'm yeah. Have you been on that one before then? Yeah, I heard a man groaning in pain last time I went. Did you? It's and did you ever find out who it was? Sorry? No. I need I might think I picked up like on a soldier. Right. He must have been come from battle. Okay. Was it you at the field hospital then, or was it just... I think, the, I think they dragged the bodies from the beaches, and I'm sure they did. I'm f- D-Day, Lance, I mean... I'm sure right. They did. Something like that, I reckon it was. Yeah. And they were stored yeah. in there, or they were like yeah. a hospital sort of type thing as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I've never been to that one. Yeah, it's really good there, it's interesting. Right, I mean, I've been to Hellfire Caves before, many, many years ago. Where's, where's yeah. that? Oh, that sounds That's familiar. in uh, High Wickham. That's it. And do you know what? It's so close. It's like nearby to me, but I've never been. It would be Aylesbury, yeah. It would be a half hour drive for you, wouldn't it? Because it, yeah. you're right on the High Wickham anyway, aren't you, really? Yeah, yeah. But that's, that's where Hellfire Caves are there. That's it. I mean, that's what could... it sounds like in my mind. <laughs> I mean, you could go there. A normal day tour around them, mm-hmm. or it's like Julia secured it for an event to do sort of obviously a paranormal venue there. But okay. I went there many years ago. It's quite a place, you know. You've got to go there to to, to say that you've been there. But it, it's quite a place. Okay. Really. Right. But it's not a good history of place, you know. Right, okay. You can imagine it's quite satanic down there. What they did, and Luke could tell you, you know, there's a lot went on. In there that shouldn't have gone on, and yeah, did, yeah. you know, so who knows what you'll pick up in there? But I imagine it'll be a very interesting night. Oh, yeah, you know, because there's lots of different caves off, and it's like the one we did at near here, one called Chiselhurst Caves. It's a very famous caves. We we approached him, and he wasn't really interested. But during the war, they had like their own village there. And everybody's from surrounding area would go down the tunnels and it literally was a doctor's surgery like a post office and <clears throat> all that underground in the tunnels because obviously during the bombing people needed somewhere to hide mm. so they all went down there <clears throat> so that was quite an interesting place uh what else have we done luke really silk the silk meal was yeah, interesting right, wasn't it? Was i got touched was... on i got touched on my face and you got That's the right. recording after yeah, the little girl going, yes, wasn't it? We'll come closer. We said, so. Yeah, come that's closer, right. Yeah. We recorded it, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah. we said, can you say something? And yeah. on the, I put the voice recorder and Luke said, oh, something's just touched my face. And my eye. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, and then we said, yeah. you know, is there anybody here? And it was like, come closer or something. A clear, yeah, clear right. response, yeah. wasn't it? Was, and yeah. a yes. And, it, and we were yeah. watching the lights going on and off in the hallway, weren't we, Luke? Yeah. Was, yeah. And nobody, nobody was coming up there, weren't we? Yeah. We stood up crazy, yeah. watching yeah. these lights switching on and off. Because they were running, yeah. they're motion sensitive lights, yeah. and we couldn't work out the lights were coming, but nobody would come up the stairs, wouldn't it? It was, yeah. And we kept thinking, what? All the lights were on, but no one. Was no, home. was at home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was that was quite an interesting thing, wasn't it? There. It was yeah. So, and did you feel the floor vibrate there, Luke? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it was yeah. Like someone was running across the floor, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. 
it's so so strange for a place yeah. that's still and calm and that's where we got the cat ball coming from the door down the stairs and across the floor wasn't it it was yeah yeah, I've, we watched that. I've been watching the videos on YouTube. <laughs> really cool. it, it, that was incredible, that cat ball, wasn't it? And it even changes direction. Yeah. You know, that was such... And then on the, I was recording the EVP and I said to Dora, put your video camera on because something's going to happen because it went very still in there. And we hung up uh, like an apron by the gap of the door so we could prove it wasn't any uh, air or wind or a breeze coming through the door. So if you look at the apron, it's dead still. You know, it's a good way of proving there's nothing going on. You know, there's not a breeze or there's not a bit of wind coming through or anything like that. It's by having something to prove that it wasn't moving, you know. And we all, it's four of us, I think Julius, Neil was there, me, Jen, Dora and another guy. And it was just, it just said suddenly it goes quiet and you think, oh, something's going to happen here. You know, and I said to Dora, put your video on just in case. And sure enough, the ball flash moves sort of down the stairs and then shoots across the floor. You know, and really, that's evidence you go looking for. You know, because nobody's there. You've got an apron by the crack of the door, so there's no wind or breeze that's blowing that ball along. And so when you look at that evidence, it's very, very hard for someone to say that's not paranormal. Yeah. You know, and these are the things that we do find, isn't it, Luke? These strange things that happen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like the, the old lamb, the lamb in, wasn't it, when it all kicked yeah. up in that room now with the shadow figures. Yeah. Horrible room it was, but, bathroom, yeah. Yeah, but how still did it get, though, Luke, before anything yeah, happened? It yeah, it did, yeah. And you really do sense it, Samantha. You, you feel the energy in the room change and it all goes quiet and everybody goes quiet and... It gets darker and darker, and and it gets dark, doesn't it, Luke? Both very dark, yeah. It, it gets to the extent yeah. where you can't see anything. Well, you know, normally your eyes will focus to the dark, and you can see the other side of the room. But this, you know, when you get a location like that, and something's going to happen, it literally goes that dark that you can't see the other side of the room. Yeah. So you know full well something's going to happen. Because yeah. we were table tipping, and had the table going really, really well, and then suddenly it just stopped. Just oh, like boom. and we didn't have anything for five, six minutes, but then it got darker and darker and darker, and everybody's like, nobody spoke. Everybody goes, you'll you'll see it when you come out and you come on investigations and things like. You'll see how quiet it goes because nobody says anything, do they, Lou? It just goes yeah, the, deathly yeah, quiet, quiet. It does, yeah. and it gets it gets darker and darker, and then bang. You know, door will go, or you'll look, and there'll be a shadow figure standing yeah. up there, and you think, "Oh my God, what is going?" You know, in the day that Ken and Dora and the, the roof lady saw these two shadow figures in the room, I mean, all hell broke loose that night when they saw them. But they, they, that again, that room went so dark, didn't it, Jen? Yeah. It went dark, 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 yeah. and then Jen went shadow figure in the mirror, and then Jen saw the shadow figure in the mirror. Realise that there was someone. Up. She thought I was standing up because I was sitting in the bathroom, to the off off the room. I said no, and then she realised it wasn't me. Then there was a man, a shadow figure, standing in the mirror. And then, of course, once Jen had clocked it, everybody had clocked it, and you know, it all, all just literally everybody was screaming, shouting, tables were crashing and banging, and and that. Wasn't it you with Darren, Luke, when someone looked round the door at the bottom of the stairs? Yeah, yeah I heard what the door happened? open as well. I didn't right. see the man, but I heard the door open, and Darren right. was like, who's that man up there? And I've seen someone in a, in a dinner suit here. Right. Someone just slightly dressed, just peered up the stairs and then shut the door. It's weird. Very strange, isn't it? Very, very strange. He came, he came out of the toilet, apparently, and I didn't want to go in the toilet afterwards. That. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where? It, is that what Darren reckoned he came out from there? Yeah, I, I didn't use the toilet after that. <laughs> and you are funny. <laughs> but that was a very active place, wasn't it? Yeah, really proactive. Yeah. Yeah. So we caught some good EVPs and stuff. Really, you know, we use uh, an IT. I use an, what they call an ITC box. It's called an Alice box. Okay. And I and I use that, and you know. And we get some real good hits on that, don't we, Luke? 
yeah. you know, some some really astounding connections with that. You know, we were, we were at Waverley Abbey once, and we were standing in the Abbey, and I switched it on. It's got no GPS. It just switch it on, and off it goes. And then it came back and said Abbey, and we're all standing there, saying, "Well, okay, you know, it could be a good guess, or it could be a word bank." And then we said, "Where are we in the Abbey then?" And it came back with like cloisters. Yeah. And when we turned around and looked at the wall, and that's exactly where we were standing in the cloisters, <laughs> wasn't it, Luke? It was, yeah. We all sort of looked at each other and went, oh, my God, how did it know where we were? <laughs> and, and I also used it at Shepton Mullet Prison. Yeah. And that's another a good location. I've heard we of used... that. That could be a good location, yeah. Yeah, we we went there. It was quite good. I think it could have been. It was a lot of people wandering around making a lot of noise. So it's very difficult to listen to the, like the audible side of the prison, really. But we, we really had some good hits there. You know, we picked up because the Alice box was going on about seven, 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 seven. We're thinking seven. What's it on about? And then realised it meant cell seven. Oh. Okay. But, so it went as I went and sat in cell seven. A few little knocks and taps, but nothing. I would really think, wow, you know, that is incredible. And we came out. It went Reginald. I'm like Reginald, because it was run by the Americans during the Second World War. Ship to Mullet Prison. So Reginald could have been a, re a real, true, like American name. Yeah. And when we looked around, there was a poster on the wall that that's where Reggie and Ronnie Cray was, were in prison in, in that cell. So Reginald oh. would have been Reginald Cray. And, yeah. and then it came through because it only says words in individual bits. And it came through and it said, stairs pushed down, I was murdered. And we like, I looked at Jen and she looked at me and went, what? And when we asked the woman, the tour guide, about it later, and she said, yeah, 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 there was a man that was causing the craze a bit of bother, so they had him murdered. He was pushed down the stairs and he got his neck broke. But down the stairs he was murdered. And she said, you know, and that from that time on is when the craze were moved out of Shepton Mullet Prison and they were split up because they were too much of a force in the prison still, even though they were in there. So that was that's a really interesting place. If you ever get a yeah. chance to go there... And I think uh, Julia's booked it for January yeah. in Shepton Mullet Prison. So, yeah. And that is always, you know, there's a condemned cell, there's a hanging cell and the trap doors. And you know, it's, it's all, it's a museum, but it's all still worth wandering around. And it's yeah. got quite a feeling to it. It's a massive place. Yeah. You know, very rare that you could get around it all in one night, really. Mm. But, but it's a really, really interesting place. You know, you've got a prison near you, haven't you, in Aylesbury? Isn't there a big prison yeah. in Aylesbury? Yeah, yeah, apparently that's meant to be quite, um, what's the word? I don't know. I've never been, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be worried if you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd be, I'd be right. But it's a big, that, is that supposed to be haunted there then? Or? I think so. I don't know. I just Someone else told me that it's meant to be quite um, something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, because I, I think I've heard about Aylesbury Prison. I think there is <laughs> things that go on there. Mm, I think probably. in the back of my mind, I've seen to recollect recollect something or other. I'm sure of it, or I've read it somewhere, and all sorts of different things. Really. Okay. Is there any questions you want to ask about for any about oh, anything? I haven't written anything down. I have to start thinking about questions to ask. Yeah, yeah. ask away. I haven't got anything at the moment. I just like to listen and yeah, try and participate. And like, like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's all, it's all good fun. You can see we're not serious about. Oh no, about like, it, are we? I feel really yeah. comfortable as well. It was a bit like, come on, baby. Oh, come on. Nah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We come on. I mean, we do have other people. Obviously, now people are on holiday and bits, but we have often have people come on. Graham comes on. Graham Bentley, and he always tells us a bit about. About his staff and you know and, and getting um, Simon to talk about the haunted goals is what we'd be trying. You know, we're trying to get other groups to come on and really join in and tell us about you know their investigations at the weekends and you know just really keep us. It's about being very unified, like everybody. Because no, nobody's. Uh, hi, Heidi. Welcome. See, there's Heidi there. 
Chief from a paranormal group. <laughs> Love the cat balls. Nice bit of cheap. Absolutely. Totally agree with you there. The best, cheapest bit of equipment you could ever buy, that is. And do you know what they are, uh, Samantha? The cat balls. Cat balls? Like yeah. Catnip. I don't know. No, They're not cat know. balls. <laughs> we, don't, we don't take cats with us. <laughs> we, don't start, we don't start swinging cats around, honestly. Joining in this conversation, it seems to have gone a bit kinky to me. <laughs> We're swinging a lot of cat balls around, apparently. <laughs> no, Heidi, Heidi, was, Heidi was saying you know, the cheapest bit of equipment was cat balls. Well, at least got neutered, got neutered at the process. But hey. Heidi was saying about the cheap, how high the uh, cheap the cat balls are for a bit of paranormal equipment, and they are <coughs> they're, they're like little round balls with LED lights in them. Luke okay. will probably have you got one there, Luke? And uh, no, they're upstairs, man. <laughs> Don't get one. Show Heidi. Hmm. They're really, really good for contact, you know, for spirit, you know. Uh, and we all all of us carry them. Luke, Darren carries some, and I carry some. And we put them up as evidence of you know all around the surroundings, you know. Mm -hmm. And suddenly they'll start flashing. Mm -hmm. And they're like, there, I see the one that Luke's got in his hand. Oh yeah, so. yeah. You can yeah. see it. Yeah, that's cool. And that's what they do. You get obviously clear ones and red ones and things like that. That will pick up. That and, yeah. and it's flashing. <laughs> That's sorry, Smith. They what? <laughs> well, so will that pick up for, like, any like spirit that's nearby? Well, spirit, we are spirit to move the cat ball. Oh, okay. And the cat ball, no, that's fine. You, you know, this is why we're here to help. You know, and we've had spirits of these, and you use the cat balls and you set them out around you, or you know, you could even do it where you are. You buy some online. On eBay, you get back free for about nine quid. Like Heidi said, a really, really good, cheap equipment, and so you can get some good evidence off of them. Okay. You know, and you ask spirit to come, and they'll only flash when they're moved. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But, so if they start to flash, you know that something's moved them, yeah. or or either that, or you live above an underground, one or the other. <laughs> but but gen generally, they're really good, and it's also visual evidence. You know, because some people say, "Oh, did you hear that? Did you did you feel that?" Where if a cat ball goes off, it's evidence that everybody can see, <laughs> isn't it? You know, you're all standing there and it flashes. And you know, I've done it before. I've set them up on stairs, you know, and asked spirit yeah. to come and play with them on the stairs. Um, and say, and they get one flash. Say the top one flashing, and you say, "Can you do the second one?" And they and it follows. You see them all flashing up and down. So you know yeah. something's moving them. So they're real it's like you saw in the video at the silk mill you know that one flashing and then move you know it's it's always brilliant it's always exciting when you get visual evidence you know when you actually see something and you and you sort of think of it well it can't be a draft because there's an apron just hanging straight you know, i so agree with that... you on that though it's always gets exciting when you get visual evidence because yeah. when i was a kid my dad took me down to brighton and i was trying out my new binoculars and he didn't know we were at the nudist beach. <laughs> <laughs> Are we back to the cat balls again? <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you, can tell, you can tell Darren's back. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, you know... Visual evidence, that Darren will tell you. Look, that's why I'm invisible. Visual evidence is always the best evidence, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Always, always, always. I mean, you and can get all these electronic toys and you can play around with them. And, um, yeah, they make flashy bleepies and, and whatever. But if you can get something visually that will move, like a cat ball or, or whatever, or a, a, a trap... Something like that, like a, a, a laser grid or something to go across. I've ordered one of them. You can visually see it move. Or, even better, like we did at the fort, the, the secret location, we got the laser grid set up, and myself and Luke... Oh, were my God. ...paper on the cross, and you, oh, could just... see, you could see the ghost in the middle of the bloody vapour. That mm. is an absolute... That mad, isn't it? 
And that's when it turned the lights off, didn't it? You remember? Yeah. It turned all the lights off in the whole place and the laser grid went off as well. And then that it place it, was just and Jenny, pure, and Julia, and Jenny and pure, Julia said, pure, can you take the glass to where you're standing? And even in the dark, you slid the glass, glass straight to where it was standing, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. That was absolutely, absolutely mental. Especially in, that, like, especially in that laser grid. Yeah, to that... actually blow the, the vape onto it and see it there, you're thinking, oh, my God. Yeah, and we had lots of bits and pieces going off, didn't we? But that was really a good bit of evidence, wasn't it? Well, I mean, uh, how, can you, how can you turn around and say that it wasn't there when you've got something standing in plain, plain sight? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you, you could see a figure there. The late, the uh, laser trap. I mean, was right through the other side, and there's yeah. nothing through there. Um, yeah. And that was where somebody had been shot within the last sort of like ten years. Yes. Um, which I hadn't said to anybody before we went in. Yeah. And um, I, I mean, it's just stonking evidence. Mind blowing, wasn't it? Really. You know, um, yeah. we ended up going to a secret fault, Samantha. <laughs> we were privately invited to the secret fault. Right. And nobody, and nobody had done any paranormal stuff in there before. Oh. And we were very, very lucky to be invited in on a special occasion. And this thing was like another level, Darren, wasn't it, really? Well, it is reputed to be Britain's most haunted fault. And there, there have been, uh, th to my knowledge, two... Um, one American guy went in there, right. and he wasn't allowed to put it out, um, because he's an arsehole. <laughs> and then there was another team that went in, which absolutely disrespected. And right. um, so the first genuine respectful team in there was us. Yes. Yeah. So really, we are, but it is known. Um, it's kept a secret, really, that it is um, Britain's most haunted fort, and it is Britain's yeah. most haunted fort. If you if you ask any real mm. paranormal person, um, they'll go, "Oh, can you get us in there? Can you get us in there?" And no, <laughs> I can't. No. Uh, no. <laughs> um, I mean, so we, say we, we were very lucky, we, weren't we, we for really, that really night? Really lucky that night. Yeah, we really, Absolutely, really lucky. yeah. yeah. Um, because we're and, a genuine group, though, Darren, as well, weren't we? Yeah. You know, people see us, and we're such a genuine group that hopefully more things will come of this group, and we'll get more of these private invitations to places that other groups can't get because we are so genuine. Well, I mean, it, it goes for and against you, really, because a lot of people think, oh, no, they're, they're too, like, you know, they're going to muscle in on mine or whatever. We're not, yeah? Yeah. But um, I mean, it should really go for us because we are one hundred percent genuine. We're out there to help anybody. Um, I mean, like Samantha wants to learn. I mean, you're lucky you're in the right place. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <it's amazing. laughs> But it's many many years of experience to learn. You know, we all yeah. bring bring something to the table. Don't we? Yeah, there's no one-upmanship, there's no bitchiness, yeah. there's no politics, there's nothing. Um, I mean, gr groups are like politicians to me. Um, I mean, to today we started off in Falmouth, and I don't know if you know Falmouth. But I've, been, I've down, been to Falmouth. You've been yeah. to Falmouth? Yeah, we're yeah, walking down the street, and um, there's one of the Socialist Party local councillors, I suppose, standing there. With his little newspaper, and well, to start with, he was that well dressed. I thought he was sending the big issue because I thought felt mm -hmm. sorry for him. Actually, and it's true. I started talking to him, and it soon became clear that no, he had quite straight views on how this should work and whatever. Yeah, and um, he, he started. Oh yeah, he said, um, I said, but the thing is, you you can kind of, and I'm not going to go political on here because I'm, I don't support. And I told him. No, I said, no. hey, I don't. I don't support any party. I don't no. vote. I've never voted in my life, and I never will vote because I just don't believe in it. They're all out for themselves. Yeah. And, um, 
I happen to mention Nigel Farage. And oh, yeah. oh, if you're going to talk about him, we'll end it there. I'm like, this, this is, I said, this is a great debate, isn't it? If you got to power, anything you don't want to talk about, you just bury your head in the sand like an ostrich. Well, um, no, it's just, I said, Christ, I said, what are you, the lonely left lot? I said, you believe in, in Antifa and stuff? He's like, I don't condone them, but you've got to see what they're fighting for. I said, no, I don't have a clue what they're fighting for. No. I said, um, he said, well, he says, all these poor souls that want to come here and um, looking for homes. I says, mate, I says, we haven't got enough homes for ourselves. I says, I feel sorry for the people we're mm. allowing to come here because we're harming them. Just what do you mean? I yeah. said, well, we can't afford to keep them. We can't yeah. afford to support the poor sods. They're going to end up sleeping on the streets rough, rough. I said, we're better off looking for somewhere to send them so they're safe and look after people if we really care on people. So hang about a minute. So you would... Um, you want to see every immigrant, descendants of immigrants, and so forth, all sent home. I went, now you've gone really, really extreme, haven't you? I said, that is, no, I said, let me talk. I said, um, <laughs> I said, you've gone to such an extreme. You want every, everyone from millions of years wiped off the planet. I said, it just shows how grown up you are, doesn't it? And I, I basically whittled these arguments right down. And that's what you can do with these teams. Because yeah. there is no need for an argument at all. Because it's not constructive. The only way yeah. you're going to be constructive is to sit down and say, right, I can see your point of view, yeah, that that spirit box could be pre-programmed. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it out again in a different scenario here. yeah, And we're going to yeah. We're going to leave it on its own, yeah? And we're not going to talk around it. And we're going to go in the other room and we're going to... Or whatever you... Or, or, okay, that yeah. country may, meter, the battery may have been on its way out in the first place, yeah? It may be going flat anyway, yeah? Yeah. But, <clears throat> I, I mean, how many wars have actually solved problems? How many arguments? Have, how many fights? How many punch-ups have actually actually solved an issue they've just created more mm -hmm. so yeah. if you're an adult and you're a grown-up um it's like every manager that fires somebody should really be blaming himself <laughs> because if he took on that person and he was responsible or she was responsible for training that person then the only reason they had to get rid of them because they made a false judgment in the first place taking them on, or they didn't do the bloody job properly in the first place training them. Yeah. And if you sit down and you think about that, you know, all right, not in all scenarios, but it's constructivism, isn't it? You've got to help each other. And that's what mm -hmm. that's what puppy's all about. Paranormal power yeah. unified paranormal investigators. Everybody's welcome to come on board. Yeah. Um, Everybody's welcome to be nice, friendly to each other, and everybody's welcome to get on. The minute when people start putting each other down, well, it's not the group for them, is it? No. In my eyes, yeah. If if yeah. you if if you come in and I mean tonight, yeah, we've we've had a joke about Luke. <laughs> but you know, he knows we mean it. I mean uh... <laughs> <laughs> Good job he's thick skin, is all I can say. <laughs> well, all, all reptilians are, Paul. Um, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> so where, where are you off to next in Cornwall, then, Darren? What's the next uh, haunted, haunted well, location? We've, we've had a laugh tonight, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is, uh, but that's it. You know, we can do that. We know each other. Yeah. No, we don't mean it. And it's a laugh. Yeah. Um, my next location, well, we're going to book Bodmin Jail, I think, tonight. Yeah. Um, my next location is actually the bar that's on site. Okay. With the spirits. The bar they've with the spirits. Spirit. They've got a lot of spirits <laughs> in there. 
<laughs> all hanging around the bar i'll take it <laughs> have me a couple of pints mate for night yeah yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Old man now you know i mean okay i'm well, over 25 it. now you know what i mean yeah um, really <laughs> really we're gonna put all this oh save me a couple of crumbs of this oh oh look at this look. Oh, look at that. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're thinking of your health, mate. They're thinking of your health. Oh, <laughs> oh my health. But, so we've done, our... um... so we done, we done an hour and ten minutes then. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the live now. Yeah. Um, and then... Five minutes or whatever. Um, yeah, we'll have the five minutes after. But thank you, everybody, for coming in. Thank you. Yeah. Graham and all of them, mm -hmm. and just say Hello. thank you for coming in. Jen says, wherever Jen is, Jen says mm -hmm. goodbye and, uh, and have a nice holiday, Darren yep. and Angela. Yep. Angela's there. Yeah. Um, just, uh, just a big thank you to everybody for coming. Uh, I'll end the live now. Thanks, guys, ever so much for joining us. Yeah. Thanks for, for um, joining, putting your input, taking time to comment, and so forth. Please share the video and so um, and everything. Um, thanks for putting up with us tonight. I'm away in Cornwall, as you haven't guessed. Signal's really late. Week. My phone's going flat now. Um, it's uh, Next week, I'm going to try and get a location where I go live from. Thanks, okay. guys, and we'll see you next week. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.